A U.S. defense contractor killed in Iraq last month, prompting the U.S. to strike Iran, was raising a family in Sacramento. Let's get more on this. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Arden, where he spoke to his widow. Steve? Yeah, he lived at this, uh, the U.S. contractor lived at this apartment complex with his wife and young children. And I had an opportunity to meet with her briefly. She was still very visibly shaken and said that she was too distraught still to talk on camera. But she said that her main focus at this point is moving forward, raising her eight year old and two year old sons alone. This is a picture of Sacramento's Norris Hamid wearing a New York Yankees t shirt. Hamid was killed in a rocket attack while working as an interpreter for a U.S. defense contractor on an Iraqi military base. The photo is from this 2015 newsletter about American River College, where Hamid was a student for five years studying computer science. The newsletter includes a question about homework over a holiday school break. Hamid's response, almost all of ESL students have a job or a family to take care of on the weekends. And in the end, we all need some space to function properly. The challenges of a young father balancing school, work, and children. Now, his tragic death has neighbors heartbroken for the whole family. That they yeah. lost their breadwinner, so he was a really good guy. Hamidullah Tahiri has his own young family. Like many refugees from Iraq and Afghanistan who live here, they came seeking a safer life from the war torn region they left. I don't know how to explain it now when I, when I take care of my children and my family, you know, sometimes really I cannot understand the situation. Tahiri says Hamid was a good person. He was really kind and he was really close to his family, to his wife, to his children. Norris Hamid's employer, Valiant Integrated, released a statement reading, Mr. Hamid was a consummate professional and highly committed member of the Valiant team who was cherished and valued by his colleagues. This international incident hitting so close to home, killing a Sacramento husband and father. American River College says that Hamid was a student for those five years uh, leading up to him finishing in 2018. Tonight, the Washington Post is saying he became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 2017. Steve Large, thanks for that breaking news connection to this international crisis.